Hello, welcome back. It is day five of our seven day program. I trust you're feeling really great. Today I have a core workout for you. So this is so much fun. I love working the core. The core includes not only the front of your trunk, the abdominals, but we also want to include our waist, our obliques, our diagonal tummy muscles. And then we go all the way around to include the back muscles. And we can even, even include our glutes, our bum muscles, our hamstrings and the inner thighs. So this is what we will be focusing in today. So let's begin. Always listen to your bodies. If you need to minus something, add something, please feel free to do so. Take care and make sure it feels good in your body. We start by lying down on your backs. Hug your knees in towards your chest just for a moment. Draw the knees in. You can be still or you can rock a little bit side to side. It's taking a moment to mentally arrive in your bodies, on your mat, in your Pilates space. And just bring the focus to your breathing and to the movement. Let the feet come down to the mat. Rest your hands on your lower belly. Inhale. As you exhale, we start gently drawing the abdominals down and then we add a mini pelvic curve. So just letting the tailbone curl off the floor, the lower back imprinting. Inhale, releasing it down. Maybe it feels good to very slightly arch your back and then exhale, the lower back comes back down, tailbone curls up. Inhale, releasing. And exhale, curling. Just check that your shoulders are relaxing away from the ears. Couple more here, just to warm up our spine. Just starting to wake up your abdominals. And release. Then keep your right leg bent, straighten your left leg down. Relax your left leg, inhale. And then as you exhale, you're going to press into your right foot and as a result your right side hip starts to lift and you're rolling that little bit onto the left side of your body and then rock yourself back down. Inhale, exhale, press into your right foot. The right knee is still pointing forwards in line with the toes and rock yourself back. Let's do that twice more and releasing. Press into the right foot and release. Good. Switch your legs. Left leg bend, right leg straight. Inhale. Your arms can now rest just on the floor beside you. Exhale. The left foot pushes down. The left hip lifts a little bit. You're rolling more to the right side. And release it down. Exhale. Now you start feeling your glutes switching on just a little bit, engage and lower down. Couple more. Just enjoy, trust that in a moment we will be working quite hard. So now we're just taking our time to warm up. Last one. And come back. Bending your right leg back again. And now, just again, to bring everything back to symmetry, inhale, exhale, roll the pelvis up, reach your arms up and back behind you, into your high pelvic tilt, inhale, exhale, roll all the way down, peeling the spine down, inhale, couple more, and curling the tail up, reaching your arms back, breathe in, Breathe out, peel it down. You're already working those deep layers of tummy muscles, your transversus abdominis. Inhale, rolling up again. And slowly come back down. Well done. Now you may want to put your feet slightly further away from you. Make sure your pelvis is nice and relaxed now in its neutral position. Hands behind the head, interlace your fingers, nice cradle for your head to rest in. Elbows just slightly lifted so you can see them from the corner of your eyes. Breathe in, 
Breathe out, curl the head and chest forwards. At the same time, bring your right knee in towards you. Inhale, lower the foot down, head down. Exhale, switch legs. We're going to do 10 all together. The pelvis stays nice and still. Make sure you draw the abdominals down nice and flat. And lower. Curl. And lower. Curl. No pulling on your head and neck. Four more. Last two. The last one, stay forwards, keep your left leg up. Inhale, exhale, pick up the second leg. Bring your feet together, open your knees as wide as your elbows. Now, making sure that you're not arching your back at any point. Inhale, exhale, lower the legs forwards and down as far as you're in control from your tummy. Bring the knees in. And see if you can bring the knees to your elbows so your tailbone curls up. Reverse abdominal curl. Lower the tail and lower the feet. Lift the legs up. Bring your knees in towards your elbows. So we should really start feeling this now in your abdominals. Knees in and lift. Lower. Tap the toes down. Lift. Knees come to the elbows. Last two. Tap. Lift the legs, curl the tail up, lower down and tap and knees in, curl the knees in. Come back to the pelvis nice and relaxed on the floor. Squeeze your knees together now. Keep them in tabletop position. Inhale, exhale with your right arm reaching past the outside of your left leg. If you feel it's too much, you can always put your feet on the mat. Make sure you feel it in your abdominals and not in your lower back. Good. We keep that going, switching side to side, working the obliques. Inhale, exhale, reach. Inhale, exhale, reach. Last two. Reach. Inhale. Exhale, reach. Come back to the center. Hold onto your knees or shins. Relax it down. Hug the legs in. Relax the legs into your hands. Relax your head. Maybe you'd like to roll your head a little bit side to side. Good. Returning the head to the center. Inhale. Getting ready for a single leg stretch. Come and curl your head and chest forwards. Come up as much as you can so it's easier for your neck. If you feel it too much in your neck, you could put one hand behind your head. Extend the left leg out forwards. With your hands, hold onto your right shin. Draw the right knee nice and tight. Inhale, exhale, switch. Stay forwards. Keep the trunk as still as you can as you keep switching your legs. Last two. Good. Release. Mini rest down. Relax. Sit in any gentle head movement if that feels good on your neck. Breathe in. Breathe out. We continue. Curl forwards. Lift, 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 lift. Double leg stretch. Inhale. Can you release the legs away? Reach your arms back. Exhale. Circle the arms around. Curl in. Again, if it's too much on your neck, put the hands behind the head and just do the leg movement. And curl. Inhale, take care not to arch your back. Exhale, sweep it around. Just two more. Lengthen away from the center. And everything coming back in. Last one. Inhale. And exhale. Release all the way. Down. Again, relax the head. Rock it side to side. Extend your legs up for a moment, holding your legs here. Separate and just circle your feet. Loosening up. 
Good, bend your knees again. Now bring the hands behind the head. Curl your head and chest forwards. Re-straighten your legs. We're going to turn the legs slightly out. Cross your angles. We have three crosses lowering the legs down. We go cross, cross, cross. Keep the legs, lift them back up. And cross, cross, cross. Lift them back up. Again, cross, down, down. Sweep the legs up. Cross, two, three. Lift them up. Last one. Cross, two, three three, lift them up. Now the leg that's closest to you, catch it with your hands, lower the bottom leg down into your scissors and stretch, 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 last one, stretch and relax. Well done. Feet down to the mat, move your feet slightly forwards, Open your arms out into a T-shape, inhale, exhale, take both knees over to the right, just enjoy, tiny little break here, and bring your knees back up, and rock your knees over to the other side, enjoy, come up, repeat this version, or cross your left leg over your right leg, and rock the knees to the right. And center. And switching the cross of the legs, right leg over left, rock your knees over. And come all the way back and release. From here, we're turning onto the side and we're going to come onto our forearm. We're going to have some variations for our forearm plank. The bottom leg is bent, your top leg is straight. Make sure the top leg is not too far behind you, maybe a little forwards is good. Top hip comes forwards, and then we must pay really good attention to the bottom arm. Make sure the shoulder pulls down and you're lifting the underneath waist. From here, inhale, exhale. See if you can lift your hips up, Bring the top hand behind your head. Keep your waist lifted as much as you can. Inhale, exhale, closing the top elbow. Inhale, open it. Exhale, close, squeeze and open. So now we are working a little bit more the side and the obliques and close and up. One more, close and lift. Lower your hips down. Sit yourself up any leg position that you're comfortable. Stretch out the arm that you've just been leaning on. Breathe. Very good. Lift yourself up. Come back down onto your elbow. Same starting position. Arm down beside your body. Lift out of that underneath thigh, shoulder away from your neck and ear. Inhale, exhale, lift up, top hand behind your head. Tiny pulses, lower the hips down and lift that bottom waist up. Lower down and lift it up, lower down and squeeze up, lower. Squeeze up, just one more. Squeeze up, hold, hold, hold. Come down, sit yourself up, stretch out the side you have been leaning on. Maybe it feels good just to keep the arm down, to ease out any tension at the top of the shoulder, the neck. Good, last one. Come back down, same position. Ready, inhale, exhale, lift up again. This time we're gonna lift up the straight leg and extend the arm. Can you bend your elbow and knee towards each other and reach them out? Inhale, bring them in. Exhale, reach them out. Inhale in. Exhale, stay lifted. It's really hard for that underneath shoulder, I know. Let's try your best, last one. Reach it out, excellent. Come all the way down. Sit up, again, feel free to change your leg position. Stretch it over, 
bring the top hand down to the opposite leg, rounding your back. Well done. Good. Let's go straight over to the second side. So come around. Now this side might feel a little bit different. If you're right-handed or left-handed, you might find one side is a little bit stronger than the other. So check your alignment. Top side over the bottom side. Pushing the floor away. Inhale. Exhale. Lift the hips, the waist. Reach the top arm up. Fingertips to the head. Inhale, exhale, closing the elbow, lower it and open it. And closing it, squeeze and open. And closing, no sinking into that bottom waist. Last one, close and lift. Bring your arm all the way down and lower your hips down. Sit yourself up, stretch out the side you've been leaning on. Good. Second round. Down we come again. Good. Nice and strong. Keep up the great work. Inhale. Exhale. Lift up again. Now this time, so it's tiny little dips with the hips and then lift up, focusing on your waist. Lower and lift. The underneath side glutes are working as well. Lower and lift, lower and lift. Hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it. And relax it down. Stretch up and over. Release any position with your arm that feels good. Release any tension in your neck. Last one, come back down again. Set yourself up. Lifting the waist, inhale, exhale, lifting up again. Now we lift up the straight leg. We're going to reach out through the top arm. Inhale, bring the knee and elbow towards each other. Exhale, extend. Contract the side and reach. The bottom side is working really hard. Just stay lifted. Last one. Good, come all the way down and release. Again, stretch out the side you've been leaning on. Bring the top hand down, round in your back and releasing it. Well done. Turn yourself onto your tummies. We'll come all the way down. We'll take a moment in Sphinx. Yes, it feels good to stretch out that front body, pushing the floor away, revisiting our Sphinx pose from the earlier days, shoulders pulling back and down. And then come all the way down. Now bring your hands today a little bit closer towards your shoulders. Your elbows might be slightly off the floor or they might be down a little bit depending on your proportions. From here, inhale. Exhale, draw the shoulders down. Now this is like a slow motion swan dive variation. We're going to lift the head, the chest. You come up as high or keep it as low as feels good for you. And then as you come down, the moment you can take your hands off the floor, lift them up and maybe you can pick up your legs as well. This will really tone and strengthen our backs now. Hands and feet down. Push down, lift yourself up, only as high, uh, high as you feel comfortable. Lower all the way down, draw the chest forwards, forwards, forwards. When you're ready, lift up your hands and your feet. Keep pulling the shoulders back and down. Legs down, hands down, just two more. Rising up into your swan. Come back down, chest forwards, legs and hands off the floor. Last one, hands down, feet down, press yourself gently up, come back down, floating hands and legs up. This time, take your arms all the way back behind you, keep them reaching back strongly, go swimming with your legs. Good, here we have our glutes, hamstrings, our back muscles working. You can draw your tummy in a little bit to support the back. Keep breathing. 
straight legs, five, four, three, two, one, and relax, relax it down, rock your hips a little bit side to side, well done, turn yourself back, hands under your shoulders, from here, up onto your hands and knees, before we take a stretch for the back, step back into your plank, holding your plank pose here, and then just tapping your right knee down and back, left knee taps and back, right knee and back, left and back, right and back, left and back, hold it, bring your knees down, mini stretch in child's pose, breathe in and breathe out, good, roll yourself up, we are almost there, tiny little bit more from seated now, so come around, hold on to your legs, inhale, and then exhale, so here you're just curling back a tiny bit behind your sit bones, but keep your chest more lifted, so in the other day we were curling more back, but today we'll stay a little bit more lengthened with the chest, just behind your sit bones. From here, can we take the right arm up and lower the right arm down? Can you lift your left arm and lower down? Place your hands under your thighs. Is it possible lift the right foot any amount and down and your left and down? From here, reach your arms forwards. Can you roll yourself slowly down? Taking your hands up to the ceiling, inhale, exhale, roll yourself back up. Hold onto your legs and sit up tall, right on top of your sit bones. Inhale, exhale, again that tiny little curl back. This time, drag the feet in a little bit so your toes are just about barely touching the floor. Good, from here, again, one arm up and lower the arm. Other arm up, hold on to that strong center. Give it a try, can you extend both legs and tap the toes down? Let's give it one more go and both legs and down. Take the feet slightly forward, separate them, hip distance, reach your arms, roll slowly down. Inhale, fingertips up to the sky. Exhale, roll yourself back up. Hold onto the legs. Inhale, here's our last round. Exhale, so again, just behind the sit bones, try and keep the chest lifted. Again, dragging your feet in a little bit so your toes are touching. Here we go. We're going to try and take arms and legs at the same time and bring them back down. Teaser. And lift any amount. If your legs don't go straight, that's fine. That's where you're working towards. Too. One more time. And release. Take your feet out in front of you. Roll yourself all the way down. This time you may straighten your legs away. Take your arms overhead. Big stretch, enjoy. Allow your ribs to open. Why not? Just give it a good stretch. And then arms, head, chest, roll up. And we'll take a moment to stretch forwards over our legs. Roll yourself up. To finish, come round onto your hands and knees. Inhale, come into your cut stretch, arch your back, that should feel really nice. Exhale, round and just nice and easy now. Inhale, lengthening, arching. And exhale, round and inhale, arching. Exhale, round and sit yourself back onto your heels. 
Please make sure your knees are happy, so adjust as needed, maybe with a cushion under your knees or behind your knees. Sitting nice and tall. Take the left fingertips behind you. The right arm sweeps across. And if it's possible, lifting your hips as you reach your arms. So now we're stretching out the muscles you've been working today. Sweep the arm across. Go over to the second side. Inhale, and exhale, reach, inhale, down, exhale, lift, and come all the way down. Open your knees as wide as your mat and stretch all the way forwards into your extended child's pose. Resting here, closing your eyes, inhaling and exhaling. And then when you're ready, roll yourself all the way up. You can change your leg position or you can stay in this kneeling seat. Sit up nice and tall. Inhale, big stretch with your arms up. Exhale, draw your palms down. I am so proud of you. You completed day five. Enjoy the rest of your day. And we will continue tomorrow with day six. See you then.